This is my review of the Jacket Bike Carrier from Lippert Components. This bike carrier is meant to be installed on a travel trailer's A-frame at the front of the trailer. It actually shares the holes on the coupler with the tongue jack and requires no drilling or welding. The rack is designed to hold two bicycles and hold them high enough to where it will clear the bed of most trucks. I picked this up at Camping World at a sale price of $165. Uh, I've seen them anywhere from $159 to $229, but uh, $165 seems like a fair price. So what do I think of the carrier? I think it's worth $165. It uh, handled well over a 2,500 mile seven stop trip where I took the bikes on and off the rack. Uh, it's a little inconvenient to get the rear bike out, but it's a lot more convenient than trying to stow it on the rear cargo rack of the trailer or mount some sort of bike rack system in the pickup or put them inside the trailer. So uh, I'm very happy with my purchase and I would recommend this for one bike and a milder recommendation if you're trying to haul two bikes. At this point I will stop narrating and let you just watch me install the unit as it happened. All right today we're going to be installing the jacket bike rack. It uh, goes over the, uh, the electric jack, brings up a post here and then has a thing for two bicycles so you don't have to drill into the a-frame you just pull the bolts out of the jack and that's supposed to hold it in so I'm gonna try and install it today hope it works out okay so the kit comes with the uh, power tower the arms this is the base for the arms these are the cradles. This is the stinger. And these are the sway stops. And then the rubber straps. And a bunch of hardware. Okay, so the first thing I have to do is take the power jack off. So I've just hooked up to the truck and taken the load off of the jack. And I'm going to disconnect that now. So we'll need to uh, loosen this cable up if it's strapped down. Otherwise you're going to get this thing all loose and go to pull it off and then you're going to have to do it. So do it first. So once the bolts are out, it'll just look right on out of there. You just put the tower on there and put the jack back through and retighten the bolts. All right, the uh, jack slid right in there and uh, then just put the bolts in. After they're all snugged up, just go ahead and give them one more push. And now would probably be an excellent time to go ahead and put the foot back in. The next step is to put the stinger in here and then insert this bolt with a clip. They call it a no motion bolt and clip or something like that. But, uh, you know, it's a bolt with a hole in the end so it doesn't fall out. But uh, go ahead and tighten that bolt up. It takes a three quarter socket. Next we install the base and we use the same no motion pin and clip. Before you put the uh, arms on, you know, it just slides over there. You're going to want to put one of these sway stops below on from the bottom because you can't get past this to go from the top. So put that on first. So the, the arms are just uh, put on with one of these snap clips just like on the bottom of the tongue jack so you can take them off real easily and you know this part's the part that's going to get taken if anybody takes anything i guess okay a couple of things while i was putting together i don't have the bikes here so i don't know what exact levels but i think it's a good idea to put the head of the pin in this way so if you forget to put this on it doesn't fall out 
same thing on this side and then I put one screw on this side and one on that side just make it a little easier not to bump the next knob when you're doing it these pegs you know they might have to go up down um, same with the cradles they might have to move this might be too wide at the top and I put them at the top on the outside facing the truck because you know it kind of has to clear this I might be imagining way too much that uh, the bike is that tall it may, may not even come close but anyway I'm sure there's a lot of adjustment to do but uh, when I get the bikes going on there I'll do that and update okay got the bikes loaded up I had to adjust things these straps just come over the top and secure it one of the posts comes through the bottom and the strap comes around and straps it in there same on the other on the back side front wheel and rear wheel of that bike okay all in all the installation went very smoothly it took a bit of adjusting to get the bikes on there just right uh, you do have to be a little careful uh, when you're putting the back bike on that you don't scratch your front cap of your trailer we went on a 2500 mile trip with seven stops we were able to take the bikes off put them back on with relative ease uh, no damage they didn't shake around too much everything seemed just fine so once again in summary i think it's worth the money uh, it's probably not ideal for two bikes but uh, it works and i hope it works for you if it's what you choose to do